What's up, guys? All right, so another lesson for you. So this is lesson 3-2, fraction circles and equivalents. So we have to learn about fraction circles and how to use them. So fraction circles are just a manipulative that we use to help find equivalent fractions um, and later on down the road, how to add and compare different fractions. So if you look at my screen right here, we have a list of all the fraction circles that we will use this year. And you will also get um, some manipulatives like this right here um, that are fraction circles that you'll be able to use at your desk. So as we can see right here, we have a whole, a half, a third, a fourth, fifth, sixth, eighth, tenth, and twelfth. Those are all our common ones. All right. So with these fraction circles, I want you to be able to recognize how we can make equivalent fractions. So imagine I have this circle right here. This represents one whole. And if you didn't check out 3-1 or what is a fraction video, you might want to go check that out um, to kind of find out what a fraction is. So we have one whole piece. Let's say it's a pie, okay, or a pizza. So we have one whole pie or pizza here. So I need to figure out what is equivalent to one whole if I have halves. So this is half a pizza or half a pie. So if I put this up here, now this is not going to be quite exact, okay? If I put that up there, it covers the whole. So this piece and this piece, okay, are roughly the same size. Again, this is not exactly because I had to try to make these work just right um, to a whole. So two over two, if I write that, two over two is equal to one over one, which is one whole. All right. Okay. So now that I have that, we're going to erase this part right here. Okay. And we're going to take this bad boy and we're going to move him right over here. Put this guy back, move him over here. Now we are going to take one half. So we have one half. Okay. And I got to find out what is equivalent to one half. All right. So. If I wanted to use my yellow pieces, which are my fourths, I would try to figure out what is equivalent to one half of a whole using fourths. Well, my fourths, the denominator is going to be out of four pieces. How many of those four pieces did I use? Well, I only used two of them. So two out of four of those pieces are equivalent to one half of a circle. Okay. And then finally, what we're going to do is we are going to look at one last one. So I move this, move that, bring my circle back. So remember, I said two halves equals one whole. What about thirds? So imagine I have thirds right here. Let me make this a little bit bigger so we can put that on there. Make this a little bit bigger. So we can put that on there like that. Okay, put this on there. Let's get him a little bit bigger. Moving this way just a little bit. All right. Now, again, like I said, it's not quite exact. But if I have three thirds, okay, three out of three pieces, that will also equal our purple piece on the back, which is one over one or one whole. Okay. So there you go.